Hello everybody, welcome to our first official post here on the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm Scott Fry. Um, many of you probably know me already, but in case you don't, uh, I just graduated or recently graduated from the University of Pacific Dental School in San Francisco. And right now, I'm in the middle of my orthodontic residency here at the University of Colorado. Uh, what I'm hoping to do uh, with this blog uh, is to create a really powerful resource uh, for you know lots of uncommon solutions and tricks to improve a person's oral health and I really want to make this available to everybody so whether or not you're um, a patient uh, at Fry Smiles Orthodontics I want you to be able to come to this blog and you know find something that's helpful uh, and can help you uh, keep your teeth really clean and your dentist happy um, so you know I, there's a lot of cool stuff um, you know, that I'm working on right now. I don't want to give away the, the surprise yet, but I'll tell you a little bit about what's coming down the road. Um, we're working on getting uh, some, some e-books together specifically for new moms and how to take care of your children's teeth so you can get them started with a healthy mouth right away. Uh, there's going to be tons and tons of how-to guides that we're going to post up here on the site. And maybe, um, you know, we're going to see, uh, you know, how the, the kind of response that we're going to get to this, but you know, maybe we'll do some live Q&A sessions or even some events, some hygiene events uh, locally here in Denver and back in the Lehigh Valley, um, you know, doing some of those. But we'll see, you know, who's interested uh, and maybe maybe that's, a, that's something that we might like to do also. I guess I could have waited maybe until I'm done with my residency to do all this, but, you know, this is, there's no other blog out there um, that's really focused on oral hygiene and is going to be doing the stuff that we're going to be doing. So I really wanted to get a start on this right away so we could start making a difference and getting some really helpful content for you guys up here uh, on the site um, that you can look at, you can download and just use day to day. Um, you know, normally, you know, naturally we're going to be going ahead and putting some other posts, you know, some content specific, content specific to our patients up here on the blog, uh, like contests uh, and office announcement. But if you guys are just interested in the oral health stuff, you can uh, take a look over to the right and on the category section, you can go ahead and filter by a specific topics. So just go ahead and click the oral health category um, and then you'll just get all the oral health, po oral health posts and nothing else. Uh, we're also working, uh, when we get a little bit more content up and running, um, to to pro provide you with a, a search box so that way if you're interested in something specific you can go ahead and look for it just type it in uh, and it'll bring that right up not all of our posts are going to be videos like this this is just an introductory video uh, and I thought that you know it might be helpful just to say hello uh, and you can get a face with a name um, but you know whenever I think that they're helpful uh, to the topic that we're going to be covering that day you know I'll probably go ahead and record a video post and then put it up there on the site. Um, if you have a chance, uh, go ahead and you know scroll through some of our old posts. You'll notice that um, I've moved some of the posts from mouthmop.com, uh, which is where all this started, and you know we were gaining a little bit of momentum there before we just moved it over here to Fry Smiles. Um, you can see some of the old posts there, some videos that we made. Um, you know, hopefully now that the blog is just going to be here on Fry Smiles, you know, I might get uh, a little more free time, a little more rest between what I'm doing in my residency uh, and helping to put up really interesting stuff here um, every day or, you know, every week uh, on the blog here uh, at Fry Smiles. So, you know, without further ado, let's get down to our post today. Uh, and what we're going to be talking about is a little bit about buffers against acids uh, in your saliva. And if you weren't already aware, your saliva is a really, really important protective factor in your mouth. And, you know, not only does it lubricate your teeth to prevent from excessive abrasion, from uh, chewing lots of tough foods uh, to maybe chewing on some pencils, uh, it's also the biggie, the big thing that it does is that it helps to maintain the pH balance in your mouth. And... You know, whenever you drink or eat something other than water, um, what happens is the pH in your mouth change, changes. You know, maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's a lot. Kind of depends on what you're eating. But the goal of your saliva is to keep those changes very small 
and to bring your oral pH back to normal as quickly as possible. And usually the process, you know, getting back to a, a normal pH and back to homeostasis takes about 30 minutes, but it could be shorter or longer. Uh, and that kind of depends on, you know, the individual and the composition of your saliva. And the buffer doing most of that work is bicarbonate. So just like the baking soda that you'd find in your pantry, the bicarbonate in your saliva goes ahead and maintains that pH balance um, around, you know, a neutral pH. Uh, most people suggest that 6.8, which is slightly acidic, is normal. Um, I think anything around 7 is, you know, what you would like to see uh, for pH uh, in your mouth. Um, you, know, you also have a lot of uh, electrolytes and some proteins uh, in your saliva that has a lot of different important roles, but we're not going to get into that today. We're probably going to attack that in another post a little down the road um, since we don't have a whole lot of time. But you know, when we talk about pH changes, usually the most significant, the most important change, and the most relevant change to everybody out there is a drop in pH, which happens with most foods because most foods contain sugar, feeds bacteria, pH drops and becomes more acidic. And when the uh, pH in your mouth becomes more acidic, uh, that uh, favors dissolution of the minerals in your enamel. So they'll dissolve away just a little bit. And until your pH gets back to normal, uh, you won't start remineralizing and putting the minerals back into the enamel until it gets to that point. So obviously, it's pretty important to know whether or not you have really good saliva, uh, which is actually quite hard to determine um, without some expensive tests, um, and to know if you're producing enough saliva. And even if you're not in a high risk category where you have you know, poor quality of saliva or not enough saliva, it's still a very good reason, uh, uh, you know, it's very helpful um, to go ahead and you know, swish with a baking soda rinse or chew some xylitol gum after a meal to go ahead and get your pH to respond quickly and go back to normal um, so that way you're not dissolving enamel for a prolonged period of time after meals. Um, and you know, while there's no cheap way of determining the content of your saliva, there's a really quick and easy way uh, for you to determine whether or not you're xerostomic or you have a dry mouth or you're not producing enough saliva. Uh, and you can do this at home uh, with a very simple test. What you can do is go ahead and get um, you know, some orthodontic wax, uh, the stuff that you put in your braces when you have a little bit of a pokey wire. Uh, you can get that at Walgreens. Uh, typically, there's a, the mint flavor. That's not the best. You want to get some uh, unflavored wax, but it's still not bad. Or you can go and get some from your orthodontist. Uh, and what you'll do is you'll get that, and you'll also get a small milliliter measuring cup, those little plastic cups. You'll sometimes find them with uh, cough syrup or like Dayquil, NyQuil. Um, and you know, if, if, you, if you can't get them at the, uh, the pharmacy, you can get them online. It's really quick and easy. You just uh, get one of those, you get some wax, you put some wax in your mouth, and chew it for five minutes while spitting into the cup. Now, if you have less than five milliliters of saliva in the cup at the end of those five minutes, then you're zero stomach, and that means you have a dry mouth. And, you know, it's a very good idea at that point to go ahead and after meals, uh, help your teeth out by going ahead and rinsing with a baking soda rinse so that way your pH will return to normal much quicker. Um, you know, that's our show for today. I, you know, I, hope, I hope you found it interesting. Go ahead, if you go ahead and uh, try that out at home uh, and check for uh, your, your salivary production to see if you're zero stomach or you're producing tons of saliva, uh, go ahead and post a comment down below. Let us know how it went and take care.